In this challenge, we're going to look at arrays again, and we have to do one thing. We need to find the second largest number in an array. So we're going to get an array of integers, which is this one here. It's the parameter. It's being passed to the function called get second largest. This here could be the solution. This is a basic algorithm. It looks a bit long because I've added some comments, but it's pretty straightforward. So here I have two variables. I'm creating them. I'm calling them largest. So this is going to store the largest value inside of this array of integers. And this here is going to store the second largest value inside of my array. So first, I'm initializing these variables here to the minimum integer value in JavaScript. For this, I'm using this global number objects. And then I'm calling the mean value property on that object to get the minimum value. So now both of them have the minimum value. We know that it's definitely going to be less than any value inside of this array. Because if you look at the constraints here, they say that the values inside of this nums array are between 0 and 100. So we know that at the first iteration, both these values are going to get updated. When I begin looping through my array, I'm verifying if the current number is greater than my largest value. My current largest value at first is this value here. So this gets updated. But the first thing that I want to do is pass my current largest value to my second variable here, because now largest here is the updated largest value. And then the updated largest value, which is this one here, gets assigned to my largest variable. You will see that if you play this in your head or you write this on notepad or something, and you go through multiple iterations, you will see that at iterations two, three, four, and so on, largest is always going to be the largest value and second is going to be the second largest value. But this here is not guaranteed because we are only checking if the current number inside of this array at the current iteration is greater than largest. We need to do something to make sure that we are able to update our second value, meaning if the current number is not greater than largest necessarily, but is greater than second, then we still need to update the second variable here. And that is what I'm doing inside of this else statements. I'm checking here if the current number inside of my array is greater than second, and that number is not equal to the current largest value because we want to avoid duplicates, then I'm now assigning that value, which is greater than second, to my second variable here to update it. And then when I'm done, I return my second variable. So let's run this code now. We've passed the sample test case, and I'm now submitting it. We have only three test cases, and we've passed all of them. So that's it for day three arrays under 10 days of JavaScript. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.